Hey everyone, it's Jane with Barlow Herbal and I have another guest in the house. This is Cheryl Lobb and she lives here in Utah. We have known each other for about five years now, right? Right. So Cheryl owns a company called The Right Way Center and way is W-E-I-G-H as in how much do you weigh? And your story is amazing and good and we're gonna have to share that with um, everyone sometime. Yes. But we were having a conversation today um, and we both are kind of like sugar Nazis in a way <laughs> and soda Nazis. Yeah, soda especially. So I kind of, as we were sitting here talking, we've been talking all afternoon. In fact, we were like, let's just film a video. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I don't know what it no, would look like. she's making me film a video because I don't do videos. Yeah, because <laughs> she's completely out of her comfort zone. Yes, and I don't know totally. why, because look how beautiful she is. <laughs> yeah. So I know that Cheryl has a ton of great tips. And what I wanted to do is just throw out a nugget as to why you should stop eating sugar. So if give us your best, like what, what, or drink, let's do drinking soda. Drinking soda. So what it does to your body when you drink soda? Well, there's lots of things. You're, you're flooding yourself with enough sugar for some people for a full day, depending on your size, right? right. Of, of soda that you, 64 carbohydrates in a sitting, in one sitting for a, I think it's a 20 ounces, like 64. And that's, I have this little diagram or this little uh, example of, of a soda, empty soda bottle with the sugar actually in it that's in sugar form, powder form. And then the little pieces are, are the little packets and there's 16 of them that go in that. And I just have to whip it out and the little kids go, what, what is that? And what, what's in there? They're like, S it's sugar. You see these little packets? And I, would you, would your mom let you drink this, you know, eat these little packets before dinner? Yeah, you know, yeah, open yeah. every little one, put it in there, I go, ooh, no. I'm like, did she let you have the soda? Mom's sitting right there. It's never a pretty thing with me and mom. But <laughs> but I figure I've got an audience of a kid, right? Yeah. And it's yeah, awesome. Yeah, and yeah. they're going, what? I'm like, you did have this many. If you drank this much, so then they're like, like looking at their mom, like, why would you let me have that? Like, yeah. like they logically know it when you when it's in right. that kind of form. When it's not in that form and it's in an innocent soda that we can go and pick up at every 7-Eleven and every, it doesn't seem like poison. It doesn't seem like even the Diet Coke. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Diet Coke is the probably the, the worst. I almost say it's I worse so than the too. regular. I have bodybuilders in my office that come and use my, my scale. I had this super scale and one in particular, and sorry about this if you watch it, buddy, um, but he's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm like, can I touch it? I mean, you know, it's one of those things. He's beautiful. And, and, and he he's, he's, does it all right. He eats, m measures every little bite, every da da da. And we get to the scale and I'm like, do you drink water? Because I can see hydration level. I'm like, do you not drink water even when you work out? Like, what is that? And he goes, well, and the confession came. And he said, well, I have like Diet Coke and Diet Coke's in my head, like six or seven. I'm like, okay, what? I felt my ears get hot. I was so upset and I was so mad. I was like, all of this, you look like that. And and you, you hold yourself to this level of accountability, right? Every single bite of food, every, every single day. And then you come to this level and you call it a oh treat. Gosh. You bring yourself to this diff different level of accountability by, by using the soda as your treat. And it, he was mortified. I, yeah, but do you know what I think, Cheryl? This is what I think. I think people don't know. He, well, he you, didn't. Of all the things, that's why I'm looking at this yeah. beautiful man going, how do you not know? Do you know he wrote me this beautiful handwritten letter and sent me these protein cookies and said, thank you so much, really, for really pointing it out. Of course, my the thing, I don't know if it was the hand thing yeah. you're holding. It was the, do you want to wipe your own hiney when you're 65? Because you, <laughs> you're not going to know. Because yeah. your brain is not going to be yeah. there. Yeah, so, you know, I think probably most people yeah. uh, listening to this probably know that or watching this, but I think the biggest thing is, is... I'm always surprised how many people still don't connect the dots to no. just to soda and how Agreed. bad it is for you. So if and you were to throw one tip, what would you say? I would say find a replacement. And, and here's the deal. How about drink water? Drink water. And if it has to be <laughs> bubbles, you know what I've learned, though? It's the burn on the back of the throat that people love. I have asked oh. extensive questions like, what is it? It's not the poison flavor. It's not the poison smell. It's <laughs> like, like, what is it? I'm trying really to understand because I've yeah. never really been a soda drinker. Yeah. But it's the burn on the back of their throat. It's like that guzzle. It goes burn, burn. You're like, oh, I do it with my Perrier. I know. And I was like, oh, that's the burn you're talking about, okay. right? Okay. So it's okay. that. So I'm like, all right, so pick something with no flavor and no sugar if it's really the burn on the back of your throat. So honestly, we get to that place and we eventually do get them crossed over. Most of them, some are just diehards. But really, I, I think when you really be honest about what it's doing to you, first of all, yeah, not just from the research, contrast is your best teacher. 
That's Try true. it. Stop trying it. Stop using it for a day or so. Use it again. See how you feel. Everybody reports, wow, I don't feel as good. I don't have it. My stomach hurt. I don't have as much. I have this crash. I'm like, really? From your high? Your sugar high that you just got and you crashed down? Right. Yeah, that's what, that, that's what we right. call that. It's a drug. It is a Stop drug. Stop pretending it's not a drug. Love. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting. No, I'm just Stop saying. Stop pretending it's not a drug. It's a drug. And you know what? You can do it as innocently as you want, but and you can blow sunshine in places we shouldn't blow sunshine. Exactly. But it's the truth. It's it's a drug, and and, yeah. and we have to start addressing it that way. If our government addressed it that way, I believe that we would yeah, be well, more apt. Well, we, trust. we can't we can't count on our government for no. anything like that, especially for our health advice, our food Absolutely. advice, our what is going to make us healthy? But more so, pe- people don't know that, Jane. No, we are geeks. We talk about this all the time. This is what we do. We educate people. I, get I know. It. I am so grateful that I'm a geek. No, but I'm too. just saying. I know you're right. I realize that there yeah. are a lot of people. I wouldn't have a business. I, I wouldn't have a business <laughs> if people didn't need my help. Really, and if no, people, and I agree knew with it. you completely. Yeah, but I think it's on the level where I think unless people start feeling really bad and really sick do they and they think oh well maybe it's because of what i'm eating and drinking only if they have a friend like us. right and i think that might be partly true for most people you think so too and yeah and you know what i think it's stuff like this us just gabbing about it talking yeah. about it calling people out calling you out yeah so honestly uh, th- that's the cool thing i love about you is <laughs> no. you are a badass <laughs> Like, I don't know about that. like, no, I've yeah. known you for five years, Cheryl. I know. And I will call you out. I, yeah, yeah. But so. you call me out too. Yeah, but we've you never had me. anything to call each other I out. I know, because we walk hey, in. Gavins. We walk in confessing. I did this. No, we just we we don't. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe it is confessing. But hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. It's fun to to share people like Cheryl, especially because she lives so close. This right. is the girl that I get to go about every three or four months up to a place past Park City where she lives. Heber City. In Heber. So we we live in the same state in the fairly same area. Right. So about every three or four months, I go up to Cheryl's place. She gathers up a bunch of her clients, and I give an herbal talk. And it's the scramble. She's coming. It's she. Jane's coming. Yeah, it's the fun. It's I feel so like much a, fun. I feel like a rock she star. She is a celebrity. We're well, like it's fabulous. Throwing confetti and well, stuff. Well, no, that's not true. <laughs> but it's you know what? It's uh, it's been really We're fun. Honored. Yeah. Well, and the, and my clients have have loved using the products even more because they get a first hand. Hey yeah. Jane, how yeah. does this work? And can I use yeah. it for? Yeah. We well, are and spoiled. I love that too. I We're love that spoiled. too. But yeah. Okay, so here's one thing. One more thing before I end this. Okay. You can tell obviously that when Cheryl and I get together, <laughs> we we were only supposed to be an together hour. for like an hour, and it's been like four. I think I think it's almost five almost five hours yeah. so that's why it's kind of almost dark outside yeah. <laughs> we and we're plan. washed out because the lights are there <laughs> so cheryl thank you and i thank had to get her on camera me. because she's she's because i've been telling her how i don't like to be on camera so and can I you can even get, wonder why i look i'm gonna get good at this okay it's true okay awesome. well thanks for tuning in you guys and uh have a great day we'll talk to you soon thanks jane